Hello, everybody. I'm Peter Matheson, the principal of the University of Edinburgh. For this graduation speech, I'm here as normal in the magnificent surroundings of McEwen Hall. But instead of being joined as normal by hundreds of smiling faces here to celebrate their own success or that of friends and loved ones, I'm here on my own in an empty hall. For me, graduations are the highlight of the academic year, and it feels very strange indeed to be doing them virtually this year. There is no less reason to celebrate the success of today's graduands. In fact, even more than usual. This graduating cohort has suffered the impact of successive rounds of industrial action affecting their studies, the weather with the beast from the east closing the university in 2018, and now an unprecedented global public health emergency with the pandemic due to SARS coronavirus 2. Completing a degree is always a tough task with many ups and downs, for you, the circumstances have been particularly challenging. For my colleagues and I in the senior leadership of the University of Edinburgh, it has been very important as we've responded to the pandemic that there's no sense in which this is the COVID cohort or your degrees are somehow worth less than previous cohorts. In my opinion, the opposite is true. You have completed your studies in very challenging circumstances and you deserve particular praise. So let us celebrate your success the latest cohort of graduands from this fantastic historic university. You will go from this place and make the world better. To the graduands themselves, very well done on getting to this point. You might have sometimes thought that this day would never come, but now it has, and here you are at graduation day. Maybe online today, maybe different from previous years, but no less significant for each of you and for your university. Your Edinburgh degrees will open doors for you and will be a symbol for the rest of your lives of your ability, ambition, and perseverance. My sincere congratulations to the graduating class of today, and my very best wishes to all of you for the future. Be proud of yourselves, because we are certainly proud of you. Today marks an ending, the successful completion of several years study and the achievement of your university degree. It is a time to recall that all you have learned and achieved, the friends that you have found, the good times you have enjoyed, and the difficulties that you have overcome. Today, you do not celebrate alone, but together with your fellow graduates, albeit in a different location from where you expected to be. Your university has been a place of shared activities and goals, a forum for honest learning and scholarship, a community of friendship and encouragement. As a university, we acknowledge gratefully the contribution that your wider circle of families, partners and many others on whose understanding and support you have also depended. Today also marks a beginning, a passage to new careers, an opportunity for further study, and a time for discerning where the future will now lead you. But in departing, you will carry something of these past years in Edinburgh, the familiar sights and sounds of this city, friendships that will last, and skills and knowledge acquired. As you do so, I hope you are very proud to take your place in the worldwide community of Edinburgh graduates. I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me throughout the four years, especially my parents and my stepfather. Lastly, congratulations, Class 2020.
Thank you for all of my family's professors and friends who has been always supported me. Thank you, Mama and Daddy. I love you. is really happy to share so many unforgettable memories with you in this beautiful, prestigious university. See you again in the future! Hi everyone! To the class of 2020, our graduates, what an incredible, unique group of people you are. You've reached what is traditionally one of the happiest times in your university career, your graduation, under the most incredible of circumstances. And it's understandable that you may be feeling a little disappointed that you're not in McEwen Hall today or gathering with family and friends in Bristow Square, enjoying the Edinburgh sunshine, because, hey, you know, it's always sunny in Edinburgh. But just because we're celebrating your achievements online, it doesn't mean in any way that you should feel it's diminished. You've already achieved so much. You've completed your degree at Edinburgh under the threat of a global pandemic. You've so much to be proud of because of that. It's a unique experience, living through what will be one of the most talked about periods of modern history. And you own it and you'll thrive. The next stages of your life and career carry so much promise. You'll leave this place, the University of Edinburgh, a changed person from the person you were when you arrived. You'll go on to do what you love, what you feel passionate about. During the time you spent at university, you found your friends, colleagues, your beloveds, and those people will go with you into this next age. But you'll meet so many more. You'll do things you'd never even have dreamed of. You'll work in jobs that don't even exist now. The shaping of the world that you're going into is yours. You really are just at the end of that first stage and we're exceptionally proud of you all. Think back to what you thought you would achieve as a fresher. You, you wouldn't have been able to imagine doing all the things that you've done in the time that you've been here when you started out. That's much the same now. Your future awaits you and you'll have a, such a great time in it. To achieve what you want in your career, you must do something that you love, that you feel passionate about. Do something that makes a change for the better. Do something that helps others, but do it all with passion. Edinburgh graduates make the world a better place. It's been that way for almost half a millennia, and you're gonna follow in those footsteps. And more importantly, you're gonna to start to create your own footsteps. And if you haven't found your passion just yet, don't worry, just keep looking for it. Don't compromise, it will follow. Meanwhile, we're gonna be here, ready to help you in any way we can on that journey. We can't wait to hear about it. We can't wait to see you thrive. And we can't wait to follow you on that journey. Good luck to everyone. Keep in touch. This is always a home for you, no matter where life brings you. Now, the most important characteristic of graduation speeches, whether they're face-to-face -face or online, virtual or physical, digital or traditional, is that they should be short. I usually ask the assembled audience to join me in three rounds of applause. This time they'll have to be virtual rounds of applause, but the sentiment is as real as ever. The first is for today's graduates themselves, whose day this is. Congratulations on getting to this stage, which is of course not an ending, just the latest stage in your development. University education is a transformational experience. Just take a moment to compare yourself to the person that you were when you started your studies here. Since then, you've acquired new knowledge, made new friends, experienced some highs and lows, and emerged today smiling and successful. Very well done. Virtual round of applause. 
The second round of applause is for all the staff of the university, including the teaching staff, many of whom this year have needed to show extraordinary flexibility and adaptability to continue to support your studies in unprecedented circumstances. They have helped you, guided you, no doubt sometimes cajoled you and hustled you, but all in the cause of helping you to be the best that you can be. Don't forget all the other staff of the university, many of whom work tirelessly behind the scenes to keep the show on the road. As well as teachers and researchers, we have legions of professional services staff of many types, security staff, cleaners, drivers, gardeners, secretaries, groups of people whose hard work is often unnoticed when things are going well and might get unfair attention if and when things don't go so well. And of course, all of those who do so much to organize our graduation ceremonies and make sure that everything runs smoothly. This year, also adapting to this strange new world, which we now all inhabit. Please join me in thanking all of them. For every student, there are many people that have contributed to their success. Parents, family, friends and other loved ones have made sacrifices for you, supported you in the difficult times and rejoiced with you in the good times. This is their day as well. Some cannot be with us for various reasons. Some will be watching or thinking about you and will be sharing in your pride wherever they are. For all of them, please acknowledge their contributions, thank them and celebrate with them. So finally, as we send you out into the world as the latest graduates of the University of Edinburgh, please keep in touch. You've all been invited to join Platform One, our online platform, which will help you to keep in touch with one another, with the university and with current students, staff, alumni and friends. I encourage you to use it. Please come back to see us, update us on your progress, maybe do yet another degree here, or come back as a teacher or researcher, or come back and do my job. Many congratulations to you all. Thank you for choosing the University of Edinburgh. Go from here with pride and confidence. Tell everyone about your experiences here. You're now part of a family of Edinburgh alumni that we call the General Council, and which numbers over 250,000 all over the world. I hope that you'll want to remain an active member of that family for the rest of your days. We certainly feel an ever stronger bond with you as you move from being a student to being an alum. You are amongst our proudest contributions to the world. Work hard, play hard, be kind to others, enjoy your lives. Well done, see you again soon, and a very good day to you all. Thank you very much. <laughs>